one of you will not be going through to the next round. Mark, the job's not yours. Unfortunately, the, the enthusiasm was misdirected, mm -hmm. which in turn has cost you the opportunity of going through to the next round. Understandable. You can leave now, Mark. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed you're going to be. You know, you come into something and you want to win it. It's, it's natural instinct. It's, it's taught me a lot about myself, what I need to do. I can be overconfident. I need to tone that down. Um, you know, enthusiasm, just, just work myself a little differently. For the four remaining candidates, things are about to get tougher. There's another day of gruelling tests before two more candidates will be sent packing. Though Susanna's impressed the panel the most, she doesn't believe that she's convinced them. Today, I'm definitely going to show them what I'm made of. I'm really going to go for 110% today. Martin is lucky to be here after his lacklustre pitch, but still believes he has everything the panel is looking for. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling chuffed for myself to get through to the next stage. I always know I would, of course. Whilst highly ambitious Tammy made a ballsy pitch, she offended her potential boss. That hasn't put her off track. Today I'm feeling more confident than I was yesterday. I think I'm sort of getting into my stride a bit now. You know, I want to stay here and I, I want the job. After his brush with the panel, Philip feels he's yet to prove he has the drive to succeed. Two of us are going to have to, uh, to leave tonight. So yeah, I think um, I'm definitely going to go for it. The next exercise is designed to expose the candidate's strengths and weaknesses as salespeople. On the table are the details of a two million pound property. In real life, this would earn an estate agent on commission a whopping six thousand pounds. Every agent would kill to handle this sale, but only one would be given the chance. This test looks at which of our four remaining candidates is the best negotiator. It will tell us how competitive, how tenacious and how hungry for money they are. Um, I want to see someone try and close the deal and I want them to be thinking about winning. They want to be the one that wins the opportunity to sell this person's property. Let's just find some first of all. Okay. Modern property. So what is it, and Georgian or something? Has anyone sold property before? No. no. Okay, so it's, it's obviously nice, plush. Pop. The group must agree on how best to reach a decision. Okay, we could do a blind ballot, I don't know. <laughs> In terms of what we're looking for, we're looking for a sales negotiator here, not somebody who's just winning popularity stakes. <laughs> how, how, we don't have anything to write with or anything like that. It just so happens I have pen and paper. Finally, Tammy cuts through the confusion with a clear and convincing <laughs> plan. Maybe, maybe a good idea is to do um, everyone to do a 15-second, 20-second pitch on this house so we can see how people actually present the house. Yeah. Can I go first? Can yeah, go? Okay. absolutely. Um, okay, guys, this is a 2.1 million pound house. Um, it's got five bedrooms. It's completely refurbished throughout with equipment. Um, modern. Um, there are designs by Mr. Norman Foster in there and obviously other modern designers um, which make this property um, enormously sought after at the moment and it is in a very sought very after family area. Very family friendly. So it's got good travel links, reception areas. It's got a lovely warm feel to the home and um, I'd love to show you through it. I present to you the orangery in the, in the salubrious area of Twickenham. As a, my colleague said, it's a very desirable property. Um, it really is a chance in a lifetime to get your help, hands on something that not, is not only a home, but it will be an investment. Of all the candidates, Martin most impresses the panel by selling the house on more than just its listed features. But in this test, the candidates have to choose the winner. They put it to the vote and Susanna kicks off with a surprise move. Right, well, I've decided okay, after listening to your pictures, um, uh, I don't think I've got the... the <laughs> Susanna is actually stepping out of the conversation. Now, that is not a good thing for a negotiator to do. A negotiator needs to stand their ground. I'm going to pick Tammy. I, I quite like Tammy. I'm going to pick myself. OK, how are we doing, guys? So it's up to you. Only Martin stands between Tammy and a quick victory. Pick me, it's me. I'm, I'm the one that's going to deliver the presentation. <laughs> Martin is like a dog with a bone. He's really hungry. He's showing us he really wants it. We're going to pull together as a team on this one. Well, is then, the then pick Let's... me. 
I don't think you gave the best pitch. I couldn't, I can't pick you because I don't think you gave the best pitch. What was wrong with the Interestingly enough, it looks like Martin has actually met his match in Tammy, so there could be a bit of a sparring match. I think I'd probably be best, uh, my best ability to sell it because I'm a salesman. The group reach a stalemate as neither Tammy or Martin back down. They both want to win this sale. So if I'm number one vote, maybe you've we're got to go for a the position we're in, we'll take it from we're, cl we're close to being unanimous. Fair enough, no, good I'd, point. I'd, come, I'd good rather point. come to a solution. But you're giving away six grand. Philip is sitting on the fence totally. All he's concerned about is the way the team's going and how quickly they're coming to a decision. You can't just bang your heads against people all the time. I thought she gave a good pitch, so she did. She did give a good pitch. I think we all gave good pitches. But, um... On the record, you know, I, I, I'm supremely confident myself to deal, deliver it, and I'm a bit unsure about you in that respect. Martin's determination finally wears Tammy down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I'm going to take myself out of it then. So have we decided then now? Precisely. All right, guys. Good deal. Good team stuff. The panel were looking for both a competitive spirit and determination to win. Only two have impressed. Interestingly, with Susanna, I am so disappointed in her. Yes. She has gone right down in my estimations. Weak performance. For some reason, she couldn't pull it off. There's no conviction. If you put her in front of a client and they start arguing with her, or, you know, she has to use some really tough negotiating skills, I'm not sure at this stage whether she would crumble. I think you're absolutely right. I've got no experience. I had no idea what to say. So, uh, uh, four bedrooms, the bathrooms, no idea, no idea. I think it might have been the pressure. It's crushing me a little bit. Some of my confidence is slipping. Mm -hmm. I think Philip came across, I don't know what you think, Rod, mm -hmm. he was weak. He was far too willing to give up too soon. Yep. Well, that's not what you want. No. Because if you've got two agents fighting over a house in Fulham, well, what's going to happen? Is exactly he going right. to hold on to the sale or is he going to give it to Joe Bloggs down the road? Exactly right. See, with a state agency, coming second is no good. I think on balance, I probably didn't do myself any favours this morning, so the panel may well think less of me. But I'm going to have to pull my socks off in the next exercise. Tammy took the lead straight away, yeah. stepped in, but she's got a real calmness about her. She doesn't come across as the most effervescent person, but she's very, very strong at holding her ground. I think it's just proved down there that, you know, I might not have, you know, all the razzmatazz and all the jazz, maybe compared to some of the competitors here, but when it actually comes down to it, I can stand up for myself pretty well, which is, um, you know, which is what it's all about for this job. Martin, for me, his first objective was to show his personality, mm. bring his character out onto the table today for us to see, and I think he did that very, very well. It was great. He was expressive, he was animated, he, he was challenging. All the qualities that I think would be relevant in a job like yours. I actually felt that he did quite poorly yesterday. Probably I'd written him off, if I'm, really, I'm honest about it. Sure. Um, I looked at him today, and to me it was sell, sell, sell. Well, they were all kind of being very nicely about it when I knew damn well that everyone would want to be the one put forward and uh, I wanted to be the one. Tammy and Martin have raised the stakes, so the other candidates need to pull out all the stops if they're going to survive the next stage. That was in very bad taste.